Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for November 2 through to November 4. A powerful film eruption occurred on the solar corona as well as two strong coronal hole formations which may produce powerful earthquakes for the coming days. There has been a significant stepping up in solar activities over the last 24 hours with three M-class events being recorded and also a strong filament eruption. We are now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we get to see over the last 36 hours solar wind speeds move from 260 km a second to 420 and also sporadic movements in solar wind density and also solar wind temperature. This is due to the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream. Now I am expecting this to subside over the next 24 to 36 hours which may produce a green light for significant earthquakes so that is worth keeping a close notice of. Here is a split screen of the 193 angstrom imagery with Solon.info. This is an animated view and also solar monitor where we get to see two significant coronal hole formations which may produce powerful earthquakes for the coming days. CH482 located just above this centre is around 8 to 11 degrees north latitude and I do feel will present a significant earthquake potential for the coming days. Now plotting and mapping some regions I feel may be at risk for a significant earthquake and we are looking at the northern hemisphere first. Coronal hole formation CH482 is located at 8 to 11 degrees north latitude and there is some strong solar symmetry with the region of Central America encompassing the regions of Costa Rica, Panama and stretching into northern Colombia. I do feel that this region would be at risk for a significant earthquake possibly 6.5 in magnitude on the dates of November 3 or November 4. And my second area of concern is for the region of Carlsberg Ridge the Owen Fracture Zone and even stretching into the Gulf of Aden. This would be the second area of concern as there is also some strong symmetry with this region as well. My third and final area of concern is for the region of Mindanao, Philippines as there is a fault line which does extend and does look fairly symmetrical to the coronal hole formation CH482. This would be the third and final area of concern for my watch for the Northern Hemisphere as based on solar symmetry with the coronal hole formation to Earth. Now looking at another split screen of the SDO composite moving imagery and also the 193 angstrom still where we get to see this large feature in the solar corona deep down in the southern hemisphere and I have isolated a region that is 42 to 46 degrees south latitude as the most likely area that may produce a significant earthquake. It is also worth noting we get to see a fairly powerful filament eruption occurring and resulting solar tsunami in the northern hemisphere above. There is a strong coronal hole formation that has developed over the last 36 hours on the solar corona which is of concern and it does stem from 42 to 46 degrees south latitude and that could put the region of New Zealand at risk for a significant earthquake or more specifically the South Island of New Zealand or the region of Christchurch. So we do need to remain vigilant as it may be a significant event possibly 5.6 to 6.2 in magnitude for the region for November 3 or November 4. And my second area of concern for the southern hemisphere is in Chile. The regions of Los Lagos and also Ace in Chile will be the most at risk for a significant earthquake. Now there is an active volcano that falls in line and that is the Sierra Hudson and that is a concern as we may see further activity in this volcano during this watch. We are now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures and the areas we are looking at are shaded in darkish green. The main readings showing up for this week are for the regions of Carlsberg Ridge, Western Australia, Alaska and the Aleutian Island chain and we have already seen some earthquakes already in this region and also the Atlantic Ocean is starting to get some significant readings. Also Europe and the Mediterranean Sea does have a fairly significant signature. These are the main areas of concern for this watch. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for November 1st. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.